Yo, what up, guys? So I just got a quick update. It's been a long time since I've ridden my little bike over here, um, but I just got in the ZS190 uh, engine from uh, Piranha or WholesaleCycles.com. But you can see my bike right now is currently engineless. I sold the stock engine to get ready for the swap um, over here. So you can see this the box that comes in. It came in a bigger box, but I already opened it because I'm just so excited to go home. Um, so one word of advice. I know you can buy these engines um, on the internet from China for probably cheaper, but I would say the reason why you don't want to buy from China is most likely it will be shipped in the same box like this. It won't be double boxed like the way Wholesale Cycle did it. I mean, the box was actually like twice the size of this box right now. So the box that, that, that this was shipped to me in was way more durable, way more secure, so less damages, you know, because the bigger companies are able to do um, big shipments, you know, by pallets, so things arrive to them easier, safer, less damage, and then when they ship it to you, double box means good protection for shipping because... I mean, you really can't trust this uh, 3D kind of corrugated cardboard to uh, protect this uh, 50, 60 pound engine. So this is what we got inside. We got a bunch of stuff. Um, this is the carb. It comes with a carb. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's got a PE28 Klein copy. Um, it's got some cables. You can see this is my receipt. Um, it's got the stuff that I was shipped in. Um, you know the cables for the clutch throttle on and off switch starter one thing i did notice two mines came with um was the piranha um magnetic uh oil plug so that's pretty cool that was extra i didn't see that in the picture um also some more stuff the cdi um, rectifier um starter and all that cool stuff inside here um uh, got some more I'm name oh yeah this is the sprocket cover so Pretty cool. It's got five speed. Can't wait to put this bad boy in. It's gonna have a five speed now, pushing about 18 horsepower compared to the stock 125 engine. I was getting like seven horsepower. Um, this is where other stuff, um, I believe the Kickstarter intake manifold and stuff like that. And the engine. This engine is actually quite beefy. Um, what is this guy? I forgot what this is. This is, oh, the CDI. Um, so if you're doing the swap onto a clone, this is the CDI. I believe this is the AC CDI. It's got the four pin. Um, my bike has a CDI, but it's a four pin because it's a DC setup. It's not an AC like this guy. So um, I'll probably have to hit up that guy, Mike, over on the ZS group just to make sure I wire things up properly and not go kaboom when I, uh, Install this bad boy. It's got a piece of foam here. See, the reason why you don't want to buy from China is you can see there's very little space in here. Um, this is really not protected. It's got a little piece of cardboard behind here. It's not going to do anything. You can see it's already touching right here. Um, the side cover, I guess the clutch side, it's already touching here. It's got a piece of foam. That's not going to do anything, you know. So um, I'm glad that I ordered from Wholesale Cycles. They're like the only guys that had this in stock. In the U.S., I mean, everywhere was sold out. Pistol Pro, Steady Garage, um, Cajun Mad Dogs, uh, and T-Boat USA. Everybody was sold out of the ZS190. And this guy from uh, Wholesale Psych or Piranha.com. You can check him out. Um, if I have time, I'll post the information in the description box below so you guys can check it out if you guys want to get this engine in a heartbeat. I'm hoping I, could, I can get this installed and make it for Super Sunday. Um, that's, out, that's a big event out here in California with the little mini bikes and scooters and stuff like that but you can see this way it comes in it's got the little piece of tape covering uh, i think this is the intake if you want to run your stock um canister and stuff like that you can just put it on here just a little emission stuff if you guys want to stay compliant it's got a sticker here um i guess it's the serial number or whatever this is engine model number i don't know but yeah it's pretty cool um let me pause this video take this out so you guys can get a better look of how this engine looks all right, so we're back. Engine is out. You can see it already leaked some oil from shipping. The uh, UPS the probably had it flipped all the way around, so it was probably upside down. Oil was leaking out, whatever, on the bottom. Not sure exactly where, but this is how it came out the box. We got the Kickstarter. If you, if you guys want to use the Kickstarter and stuff like that. Um, there's the front. Also, actually, this was the um, stator side. Earlier I was mentioning how it had the piece of foam in the box. 
not really well packed in the box, but you can see the oil leaking out right here. Um, this looks kind of weird, funky, crushed. Not sure. That's the starter. This looks, you can see, at a weird angle. So I need to take a look at this. Hopefully nothing is damaged in here. Maybe because they tied it in too much pressure, whatever. But there's some oil inside. But we have oil on the bag down here. So hopefully it's not leaking anywhere major. Oh, it could have been just from this hose right here. Yeah, see, it just came out here. So it'd be a word of advice is uh, for the manufacturer just plug this up so it wouldn't leak, you know, cause shipping around is gonna be upside down, sideways, backwards, whatever. And this oil is gonna leak out cause oil, hole, vent tube. But yeah, pretty excited. Looks like a well-built engine. Look how beefy this is. You guys really can't see it in person, but this for me, this looks really nice. Wow, even the clutch feels really good compared to the, the little engine that I had before. This one feels really smooth. Um, really easy to pull the clutch. My stock uh, 125 that came on my bike was really hard to pull. Um, let's see, anything else? I mean, this is how the harness looks. Um, it's got everything here, nothing special really. You guys can see around, it's a little bit dark, but hey, this is what I gotta work with, just got out of work. The engine looks pretty badass. It's like a little Daytona 190. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Um, I'll be posting some more videos, hopefully I get time. Uh, maybe I can throw some clips here and there of me putting it in the bike, I don't know if I have time. But you can see the engine bolts. Small little eight M8 size, but it's a lot more beefy than a stock engine. Um, also, what I, what I may end up doing is um, drilling out this hole to an M10. Um, so um, by being an M10, it's just going to be a much more secure bolt because the hole that I have here is actually larger than an M8. Um, it's actually big as an M10, and yeah, so I may go that route. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll um, see you guys later. And until next time.